good evening guys it's a 4 56 p.m. today is uh, uh, Monday and the time is officially officially shifted one hour backwards right so it's a 4 56 p.m. Uh, and then the first ceremony says NFP driven up moves still active right from Friday today 65 percent buyer 35 percent sellers because we are open for both sides right but some weight is to the buying side NQ is dream number, grow back slow, important for buyers to hold above, right? And pretty much 850, today's dream number became the low of the day, right? And also uh, for hunting levels and grow back high are for sellers to defend, right? Yes, grow back slow, 94, 84 are important for buyers, 0508 for sellers, right? And then here I'm talking about Dow and all these things, right? And then Russell 1806, you know, uh, and then uh, NQ will run into blue lines above Globex high, which are the hunting level lines, right? So buyers are active, but we may have to take a profit into blue lines, you know. So overall, you know, 65% buyer favor, and it's all level based trading today, right? So also in this quarter, right, we discuss that above this area prefer buyers buyers are active in general that's a view right and overnight was up move right so we discuss all this thing in discord whom to favor right uh, so in the morning as usual we already know all these things right that uh, from last few days of the open price goes down right so this was nothing new so we were watching it right and then some some of you also said in discord that hey buyers are gone sellers are active but i said wait you know i don't believe it buyers are still there right around this time you know i typed that thing in discord right or maybe here somewhere right even though it, it broke down below this i refuse to assume you know that sellers are in control even though here they were visibly in control right but somehow it was not feeling right you know so i did not take any shots you know neither i take a long but up to this point but when price fall right there right here you know uh, so basically nq first time down here i did not do anything right i waited you know because looks like these sellers were stair stepping down right so i waited you know watch 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 right then when it went down here you know like this right 850 which is a dream number and right? then it bounced back up right that's where i took a long at 874 right here you know, right above this yellow line right here yes i took the long at 74 75 so basically when price went down here came back up about this 74 75 yesterday's close i went long both of them together and i bailed out somewhere around here and then my day was over right so now why it is over because at that time it's over because of this down move which i was not expecting sellers to wait the way it behaved because the way it like touched here at pink line you know like one touch and then boom right yes 3800 we discuss about it you know right here you know and it one touch and boom it was so visible selling right but anyway because of that selling you know buyers on the way up buyers will run into resistances and then price will create a grid lock like this you know? i knew all these things you know? so whenever it's a counter move happens like this you know the day is over you know and then you know all the trader day traders will lose money here back and forth back and forth and end of the day price will make a move like this where nobody is there to trade and that's why you see this kind of move because day traders are exhausted doing buying and selling they don't have a money left to trade you know so whoever is patient enough you know, not to avoid these things they can trade these things you know so but anyway so now why this long here we discuss these things right so look at internals they were not liquidation kind first of all right and there was a bullish disconnect right here right so that's why that long makes sense uh, in today's context you know looking at everything overnight and all the supports and everything else however uh, now can you short here no because of the internals you know they were not liquidation kind yet you know 
and buyers were strong from the overnight you know so we have to wait for price to take out this at least blowback slow you know or so but nq refuses to do that right so so nq was the weakest one if nq is holding there is no way es is going to go down right so now when price went up here second time right e nq went up second time here right here ideally it should have gone through it but why it did not go through it because there was a strong bearish eddy divergence here look at this price was here eddy was here see so because of that some sellers will be there you know but then problem is this was a good shot actually you know if the contextual if if there was a good context going into the day let's say 65 percent bearish 35 percent uh, buyers right then this would have been a good shot based on this bearish divergence but despite this you know you can't take a shot yes you can but you have to manage it properly price could have gone through it also so but due to this bearish divergence then price responded it right fine right but then why the hell is not going down below this low see below this low why right it's an it's refused to go down right despite this strong bearish divergence entire day that tells me that price is going to now reverse later some point in the day you know and that was your long right here right here right here or maybe it's even here earlier you know but so those are the trades for today you know ideally this was the long you know and then ignore shorts and later in the day if you're trading it but otherwise you know just wait for tomorrow you know and that be all for today now look at this here backup sellers area right see why remember in the notes i said most likely nq will go towards the blue line and if it does it's a profit taking time right take some profit this was a backup seller area it went to blue line rejection see that but at least here you can take profit right uh, es may come there here you know profit taking area but 20 we know right so 20 was by default profit taking right but then here also it may come you know overnight we'll see how it behaves in the overnight and that we all